Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can find the authorization object associated with a particular transaction code in a massive way. Okay, so everything in SAP is a table. So I first will, I will go to SC16N. Okay, generally I go to SC16, uh, SC16N, and this is the table TSTAVT. Okay, and here suppose I give ME23N and I execute. And here, what I'll need to do is probably give the language, okay, and I'll do it in English. And here you can see this is the authorization object here. Now, suppose you want to see the authorization object of Migo, okay, because Migo will have something. And, oops, Migo doesn't have anything for authorization object. So, let me see. We will have ME21N, okay. And here you can see the authorization object is create. Whenever you have create and all those things, you have different. So if create will be 0, 01. ME23N was change. Okay, so let me again show 23N. Um, if you see, it's 0, 03. And now uh, if I do ME22N, okay, then it would be 0, 02. So so the first one is create, two is display, two is change, and three is display. Let's do another one just for the heck. We'll try to do probably FB01, uh, which will be post, which is 01, you see. Uh, if I do now the same thing as FB03, it would be 03. Now let's, in order to satisfy my sales people, Sales order guy V01 would be 01. Oops, V01 is not there. That's a little different. Okay, so let's see. V03 is there. Not there. Okay, so not always it works. So V so the authorization object in VA is not there, but generally ME21, 23, and all those things are there. So in this way, you can find the authorization object associated with the transaction. That's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and if you like it, subscribe to it and share it. Thank you and have a great day.